Let's take another look at piecewise functions. So here we have g of x, and these are broken into three pieces. We have x plus 4 when x is less than negative 3, so any values less than negative 3, we would plug it into x plus 4. For, value, for x greater than or equal to negative 3 and less than 2, you would always get out 5. And for x greater than or equal to 2, so 2 or larger, you would plug it into 6 minus x. Okay, so we want to find g of negative 5, g of 0, and g of 4. So we're going to look at the value we're plugging in and decide which of those pieces does it fit into. So g of negative 5, well, we see that negative 5 is less than negative 3. So we're going to plug it into that top one. So we would have negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So g of 5 is negative 1. g of 0, well, 0 is between negative 3 and 2. So we're going to plug it into this middle one. So we just get out 5. And 4, well, 4 is bigger than or equal to 2. So we would do 6 minus 4. g of 4 would be equal to Okay, now we're going to do another example where we're graphing. So here's h of x again in three pieces. Um, when x is less than or equal to negative 1, we do 1 minus 1 half x. When x is between negative 1 and 2, it's just 2. And for x greater than or equal to 2, it's 2x minus 3. So the first thing I like to do is make those vertical dotted lines where we're changing. So at negative 1, we're going to be switching, and at 2, we're going to be switching. Okay, so first let's just look to the left of negative 1, less than or equal to negative 1. So x, this is x less than or equal to negative 1, and then we have 1 minus 1 half x. Well, first let's start with negative 1. If we plug negative 1 in, we're going to get Oops, that should be a negative 1, not a negative 1 half. We're going to get x plus, or sorry, 1 plus 1 half, which would be 3 halves. So we'll plot the point negative 1 and um, 3 halves, 1 and a half. And since it's less than or equal to, we're going to put a closed dot. Okay, now we want things left to that, so let's plug in negative 2. We'd have 1 minus 1 half times negative 2, so 1 plus 1, it's at 2. Okay, and that's going to be a straight line going off in that direction. Now, between in between our two dotted lines, negative 1 and 2, but not including those, we're going to be at 2, so we're going to be up here at 2. Now, since it's a less, negative 1 is less than x, is less than 2, they're both less thans and not they don't have the equal to part, we're going to use open dots. Okay, And then for x greater than or equal to 2, we'll plug in x values and then we'll have 2x minus 3. So first let's see what happens at 2. We would have 2 times 2 minus 3, which would be 4 minus 3, so 1. So we'll plot the point 2, 1, and since it's a greater than or equal to, we'll put our close dot, and then we're going to plug in, let's plug in 3, so we'll have 2 times 3 minus 3, which will be 6 minus 3, we'll get out 3, so 3, 3, and that will be a straight line going like that, and we successfully graphed our piecewise function.